as police officers investigate what has been a deadly day in Grand Rapids. Three bodies found in the span of hours. The first two discovered just blocks from each other around 11.15 this morning. And that was the first incident. Then just before 4 o'clock, while our crews were out there digging into what had happened, they heard what sounded like multiple gunshots around them, and police have since confirmed one person died in that same area as this morning's investigation. Uh, Michael Martin has been out there on scene digging into what happened earlier today. Uh, a couple of the updates we just heard from Police Chief Winstrom there included one, they have no suspect information at this point, and two, these incidents, they could be connected, but at this point, there is not any threat to the public in their eyes because uh, these are not random incidents. Again, Michael Martin digging into that first incident today. Uh, he joins us live now with what he's learned so far, Michael. Axe, Josh, as you're talking about the police not ready to say that the two deaths they were investigating earlier today are related to this deadly shooting that we're now standing in front of this afternoon. But as he said, and as the dozens and dozens of people, neighbors, witnesses that I've spoken to in just the last 45 minutes, it would be in their minds very unlikely that these are not somehow connected. And even before this third body found here on Horton, as I was reporting live at 4 p.m., just after we heard what sure sounded to be like multiple gunshots just down the way when talking about the two bodies found earlier. We said this is not a typical death investigation by any measure and for the reasons that nobody heard any gunshots or a fight outside in the neighborhood before those bodies were discovered. And we did find a neighbor who believes she caught a suspect vehicle on camera, which we'll show you here in a second. But this deadly shooting, those two bodies, still looking into all of this, but a neighborhood left on edge. Well, tragically, we have two bloody bodies in the street and we don't have an explanation for it. About 10.30 a.m., police were called to Grand Rapids Southeast Side after two bodies were found. A man on Horton, just off of Burton, and almost a quarter mile away on Melville, the body of a woman. A lot of neighbors have come out in support and asked what they can do to help for, for this tragedy. <laughs> near where the woman was discovered caught this video on her home security system. She believes it shows the woman's body being thrown from a vehicle. This appears to be uh, very targeted, very personal, and I don't believe it's random in nature, and I don't believe that anybody else has, uh, has a fear, uh, anything to be, to be fearful of. In fact, nobody I spoke to Monday heard anything like a gunshot or fight in the time before the bodies were found. Looks like nobody saw or heard anything because we were talking to the neighbors. They just, you know, from where that happened and nobody heard any gunshots or anything. This is the voice of a man who found the other body. He says it's that of a young man. He looked like he was shot though. Yeah, he looked like he was shot. That was so unexpected and that's, I never have seen something like that in my life before. It was a chaotic scene that stretched at least four blocks. It's a, it's a long way between where the two bodies were located. This map shows the full breadth with police blocking off huge stretches of the neighborhood. So you were here, but you didn't hear it. Yes, I was in there. I was in, 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 my, in my bedroom. This is another person who lives in the area who asked not to be identified on camera, who again says he didn't hear a thing before police showed up. A lot of times we'll go to a scene and individuals will be streaming out saying, I know that individual, I know what the, the conflict is, I know what's going on. That hasn't been the case here. Police have not yet publicly identified the two people killed or shared specifics on the circumstances surrounding their deaths. So really, at this point in time, it really is a mystery. So Grand Rapids Police Chief Eric Winstrom saying they do believe they have 
neighbor video that shows a suspect vehicle, though they are not ready to confirm what we just show you is necessarily that vehicle that they're looking for, says that that information will come soon, he says that they have ID'd the two bodies found earlier, a young man and a woman, but have not identified them publicly as they haven't been able to speak with their family yet, but we will continue to dig into all three of these lives cut short. Live in Grand Rapids, Southeast Side, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News. And Michael, I'm wondering about having heard those shots fired. Can you give us an idea of, of where you are? Because as far as that, we know where the chief was talking when we started this show, that was close to where those, that's that the gunshots that you heard happened? Not exactly, Josh. So it is a very confusing uh, scene in that it, it goes several blocks in every direction. So where the chief was speaking was actually about a block east removed from Horton. Horton is where that first initial body with that young man was found just about three blocks south and then two blocks east on Melville is where the woman was found. That's about where we were going live when we heard several shots, four or five, maybe one after another. My photographer, Mike Power, said, what was that? Was that gunshots to me? And it sounded like it was a hammer or something, somebody working. 30 seconds later, we've got the cruisers driving by. It's about three blocks away from where we heard those shots. All right, Michael, thank you for that update. Clearly uh, still a developing situation. We'll check back in with him at some point. We also have our own Jamie Sherrod, who's out there. Uh, she was sent out there in response to the second round of gunshots that Michael just explained that he heard while he was on scene uh, looking into that first um, incident. So we will uh, check in with her at some point. In the show it, well. it was interesting to listen to the chief talk about this because he said it, 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 people who were out there could see that there were shell casings on the ground. Mm -hmm. So that indicated to them that there was, in fact, a shooting out there and that the police officer in him uh, could uh, th the professional opinion of, that he has is that they may all be connected. We mm -hmm. don't know that for sure right now. But again, we're working to gather that information. And, and two things to keep in mind. They could be connected. But at this point, uh, they don't believe there's any other threat to the community because these incidents from their perspective they don't seem random uh, but suspects or a suspect still on the loose yeah. tonight uh, and we're continuing to work on this we'll have the latest online and of course during the the rest of this newscast